I don't remember much from high school chemistry class, but I do remember the notion of a catalyst. A catalyst is something that changes a reaction. A catalyst is something that you drop in and things shift, like when you have a super saturated solution and you drop the crystal in and everything goes and lines up in perfect crystalline pattern. Those catalytic moments, those moments when everything crystallizes, are so exciting. I think about the last couple of years in the movement for marriage equality and how after years of struggle, all of a sudden, state after state, almost on a weekly basis, was saying, yes, same-sex people can get married. That's not only right, it's the law. And it seemed like one judge after the next was coming up with more eloquent and beautiful ways of saying, we were wrong. People who want to get married should just be able to get married. And now it seems like that's becoming normal. It's not done, but that shift has taken place. The catalyst has happened and the crystals are spreading. I think about the moment when Rosa Parks sat down in a white section of the bus and refused to get up and how that sparked a great movement for civil rights. And I also think about how we got to those places, because it turns out that those catalytic moments don't just happen. The pan that crystallizes only happens when you drop the crystal in, but the solution that you drop it into has to have reached a certain point. I remember back in the early 90s when I lived in Idaho and we were fighting an anti-gay amendment and we were saying to people, well, no, really, this isn't about gay people getting married. Nobody's asking for that. We just don't want to be discriminated against. And how all we could imagine at that point was fighting back against a proposition that wanted to limit people to no rights and how the notion of having something like the ability to get married, which now seems like a pretty fundamental right, was just kind of off the table. We're not going to talk about that. That's not that long ago. And of course, Rosa Parks sitting down on that bus wasn't just a woman who sparked a movement because of a single act of bravery. She was a trained civil rights activist known and respected in a community of trained civil rights activists. The bus boycott